the show. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And now, your First pitch coming your way next. Los Angeles Dodgers. About to get started here and getting to start Shohei Otani. What do you look for here? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. All right, ready to go here. Here's Nico Horner. Here comes a pitch. This one in the air center field. Outman under it. And there's one down. Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. Big challenge for them today as they take on a pitcher who brings electric stuff and really racks up the strikeouts. Yeah, and it's all about making good contact against a pitcher like this. You're not going to get very many pitches to hit in an at bat, maybe even in a game. So you got to be ready, zoned in to the spot where you think you've got the best chance and jump all over it. Might be the first pitch in the at-bat, so you better walk up there ready from the jump. If they can make early, consistent contact, I think they'll have a much better shot against it. Third, the left fielder, number eight. Two outs, base is empty. Ian Happ, the next Cub to hit. Fastball for a strike. Hap, the multi-gold glove award winner, hitting third in the lineup, a former first-round pick back in 2015. That one hit to right. Hernandez has it sized up. Makes the catch inning over. And the Dodgers are coming up to hit. No score. You're dialed into the show. Back here with my pal Singy. And now here's the starter for the Cubs, Justin Steele. This guy has a ton of respect from his own teammates, Boog. He's the type of guy, if he's not having a good day, he'll go out there and just wear it. No matter what happens, his starts tend to be less demanding on the bullpen. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. Betts can claim something not many players can. He's won the World Series playing in the National League and the American League. On the ground to third. Sneaks through. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. He's got the power but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Brings it in. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These players have been around uh, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Swing and a foul straight back. Man at first, one away. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Ground ball left side could be two. Fired to second. On to Bush. It's a double play. On to the second now from Dodger Stadium. No score.
second inning set to go. Here comes Cody Bellinger. Bellinger's dad won a couple of World Series rings in 1999 and 2000. Clay was a backup infielder with the New York Yankees. Comes up empty. In the 2023 season, Cody's dad, Clay, made a trip to Wrigley Field and sat the right field bleachers to watch his son play. That's kind of cool. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. In time. And a drop third strike leads to the first out. Well, take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect in battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Dansby Swanson stands in. Pitch misses there, and it's 1-0. Swing and a miss. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. One down, base is empty. Pitch misses there. Two and two. Second inning here, no score. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, Christopher Morell. And that one is in for a strike. The 0 1. Swing and a miss as he was late. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Cubs are down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Dodger Stadium, here's Muncy to hit. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. But why to kick the pitch? Ball one low. Steal. An all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, a curve, and he works in a changeup. There's a the strike. That catches the top part of the zone, and the count is one and two. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. And up next for Los Angeles, James Outman. Check swing, no appeal. Really good check swing right there. So difficult to hold off on the slider from a same side thrower. Very difficult to pick up the release point. And a foul ball. That misses, and that's ball two.
Just missed. The 3 1. High fly ball out to left field. Pat gets under it. He's got it. And there's two away. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? Over to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Dodgers down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. And we're back. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Now the Cubs catcher, Jan Gomes. Otani back to work. And that one's a little bit low. Ball one. Otani, multi time all star. He throws a slurve, a four seamer, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Outman falls it in, and there's one away. Michael Bush, the next Cub to hit. That misses the zone. One and oh. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Outman right there to make the grab. Two away. Here's Nick Madrigal. Base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Digging in, Nico Horner just missed. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Fastball for a strike. Rip to third. Throws to first in time. And that is that. One left for the Cubs. Still no score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Chris Taylor. The lefty fires. Late on that fastball. Strike two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And he'll two. Fouls it back with two strikes. The pitch. Ripped to short. Slings to first. One up, one down. Here's Kike Hernandez. Strike one to Kike Hernandez.
just off the outside edge and the count even one and one one out base is empty and that one upstairs next offering is down low first pitch strike from the pitcher but then no panic at all by the hitter very patient showing good discipline now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count one down base is empty on the ground right side the throw to first and that quickly two away and now it's Gavin Lux He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. That gets down for a hit, and that turns the lineup over. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff, a base hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now snap throw to first, and he's back standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Coming home. He scores, and they have the lead. One nothing. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So two down. Freddie Freeman, the next to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The pitch. Good eye right there. Betts at second with two down. Hard ground ball, base now. Headed for the plate. They'll throw in. Head for a slide, and he's safe. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. The batter now will be Will Smith. He's 0 for 1. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Two runs across in the inning here in the last half of the third. In there at the knees. And the count even at one. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Three innings complete. It's the Dodgers two and the Cubs nothing. Back here in L.A. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. 
Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. You know, these Cubs just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. I think things are happening a little quicker than this offense would like, and we see it in the numbers. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in the at-bat. Ian Happ up to hit. Flied to right his first time. Cubs made Ian Happ a first-round pick in 2015. He played at the University of Cincinnati as an infielder. Played a little bit of outfield, but a guy in 2022. What a year, Chris. Both an all-star and a gold glover. And it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. He's 0 for 1. Throw to first, and he dives back in safely. Yeah, and wins that gold glove as a left fielder, and it's a guy that was a pretty good center fielder as well. But, you know, one of the things for him is just being able to be in the same spot every day. I think it increases the comfort level and allows that athletic ability to really shine. He swings and crushes one. Deep on its way. Way back there. Gone. It's a belly bomb. A gigantic blast. It's 2-2. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Base is empty one away. Now Dansby Swanson struck out swinging his first time. And yeah, that's outside. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. There's a strike. Next pitch is outside. One down, base is empty. This one high in the air to left center. Outman sizes this one up. Hauls it in for the out. Christopher Morell, the next Cub to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. In there for strike one. Morell, in his second season, 24 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. And that one is inside. Two out spaces empty. And that's the strikeout looking. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. Cubs had two on this homer. 2-2 two -two game. Back after this on the show. Ready to go, bottom four. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Max Muncy. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That's off the mark. And one and one.
kicks and fires. Fights it off. You'll see another. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. And another ball. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Got him. One away. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And next for L.A., James Outman. There's the strike. The wind of the pitch. That one just misses, and it's one and two. It's a good take. Got it by him for the K. Oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Hernandez stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Rip towards third. In time to Bush. And Hernandez is out. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Jan Gomes. And a pitch. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. You know, these Cubs just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them. So they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. And another ball. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Michael Bush, the next Cub to hit. 0 for 1 so far. And that one fouled off. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Righty delivers. Comes up empty. That's strike two. No, he's really working that inside corner with the cutter. I'll tell you what, I hated that pitch. So tough to get the barrel to and to keep it fair. And it's even up. And down on strikes. Two down. Nick Madrigal, the next Cub to hit. One for one with a single so far. Right through there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Two outs. He swings and fouls one off. Oh, and two now. And there's a ball. 
Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. And that's downstairs and outside. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And the Cubs are down in order. Score remains 2-2. Back here at Chavez Ravine. John Chavi with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five. Chris Taylor. Steele back to work. Not even close there. And that is ball one. You know, these Dodgers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Hernandez takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. Just missed. Lifted in the air right center field. Suzuki sizing this one up. They got it for out number two. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And downstairs. to short Swanson now the throw to first on the run high throw to first and he can't reach it and this ball is going to wind up out of play well I definitely think the speed down the line played a factor on that throw he had more time than he thought but as a fielder the speed of the game and the speed of the runner sometimes can get in your head and he just rushed it and failed to make a clean throw back to the top of the Dodgers order now here is Mookie Betts That one missed. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Lux on at second with two down. The shortstop takes a ball. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats, and the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. The pitch. And that one clips the corner. Missed with a changeup. And that's ball three. Freddie Freeman to bat next. Turns and fires the bets. And he swings over the top there. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Got him looking. That's the third out. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning.
New inning getting started at the play. Nico Horner. Nico. And the pitch. That one's upstairs, ball one. And that's ball one. And a good eye there. And the righty deals. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And in foul ground, he pulls it down. One out. Seiya Suzuki getting ready to hit. And that's in the dirt. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top half of the sixth. That misses. And the count is 2-0. Oh. And here it comes. That one's spoiled. And the count now 2-1. and one. Well, they gave up on that pitch early. And it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. That's down and in. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count's full. On the ground, Lux. On to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. And next for the Cubs, Ian Hat, one for two. That's in there, and it's 0-1. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. That one catches the zone. No balls, two strikes. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Caught him looking for the K. No runs, no hits, no errors. 2-3-4 due up in the home half of the sixth. We are tied 2-2. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. As the lefty gets to work. Fouled off. He was late. And the pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. That was the emergency hack right there. Next pitch misses. Going to count 1-2. and two. High fly ball, right field. Suzuki has a beat on it. And out number one on the grab. Now got it. Get to it. And up to the plate is Will Smith. First round pick out of Louisville in 2016. Just missed. And it's swing to miss. Ball to strike. That one almost got him. One down, base is empty. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. And now it's Max Muncy, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. 
Fastball in for a strike. Going to one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Good eye in that spot. And the next pitch is way outside. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Madrigal on to first. They get the out on Muncie. And that's the third out. Dodgers go down quietly. And this game is still tied at two and two. And we're back. We go to the top of the seventh. Bellinger up to hit. And the right hander back to work. Fastball for a strike. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Against good pitchers, you've got to take advantage of the mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. Go-ahead run on base. Now it's the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Swing and a miss. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Throw over to first. Bellinger dives back. Swings and misses. And that's strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Righty to the plate. Got him swinging. Well, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. And next is the designated hitter, Christopher Morell. Fought off foul. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Trying to keep this a 2 2 game here in the top half of inning number seven. Ball one there. Way to lay off that pitch down. And he deals. Just off the outside edge. It's two and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets just misses the mark outside the zone Jan Gomes waiting for a turn at the plate one away tie game go ahead run stands at first cuts and misses it's a strikeout well tough night at the dish punching out for the third time right there he just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate a little unsure of his timing right now not picking up the spin and location of these pitches We'll have some adjustments to make. Now it's Jan Gomes. On the corner for a strike. Two outs. Way out front for strike two. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. Swing and a miss, and that is that. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Seventh inning stretch time. We are tied 2-2.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. Steele back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. In there at the knees. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. That one a little bit high. Now one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. One and two here. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The wind and the pitch. And another ball. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Well, that ball's hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. The 2-2. Stays alive. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. And just like that, they're out front. It's 3-2. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. No doubt in my mind, just about everybody in this ballpark holding their breath on that one. I tell you, just barely snuck it inside the foul pole and... Talk about a huge swing. That's it in this ball game. Could be the biggest swing of this ball game. We'll see. Here comes Craig Council, and we're going to see a pitching change. Justin Steele departs, and they trail as he exits, but he kept them close. A new arm will be on the break. Mark Leiter Jr. gets the ball now. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Mark Leiter And now Teoscar Hernandez. And first offering is fouled off. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. One run across in the frame so far. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Hard hit left side. Swanson fires over to first. And Hernandez is out. Now back, the designated hitter, Fred. Chris Taylor now. Inside, just missed. The Cubs bullpen with some action. Number 43, up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Almonte getting loose as well. The wind of the pitch. Up the middle, corner. Tosses to first. Taylor is out. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Here's Kike Hernandez. And ball one to the right fielder. And now two and nothing. Oh, 
wouldn't chase that time. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk, and that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. Runner at first with two away. Gavin Lux will hit next. And there's a ball. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Hernandez, round second on his way to third. Coming home. He'll score easily. It's 4-2. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Mookie to hit. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. In there at the knees, strike one. Lux at second with two down. And down on strikes he goes. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. So they get two runs on two hits. One of them left the yard. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Dodgers four and the Cubs two. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Brustar Grotterol. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. So up now for Chicago, Michael Bush. And a pitch. There's a strike. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly, it is nothing in two. That's inside. And another ball. That one ripped left field. That's back there. See you later. So he goes yard to left. It's 4-3. Just relentless. This team will not quit. When you see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run, fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop, that kind of approach, you'll hit for a high average as well. And yeah, the batter now, Nick Madrigal. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Holding on to a one-run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. High fly ball down the left field line. On his way over, he's got it, and there's one down. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder, ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Now it's the second baseman, Nico Horner. And there's the strike. <laughs> and 
And a big swing and a miss. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. That one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. You know, Boog, you often think of sliders more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. And here is Seiya Suzuki. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Looking to get the tying run on base. In the air, out towards right center. Outman squeezes it, and that'll do it. But the Cubs do get one back on the solo blast. It's now a 4-3 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, number 43. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Well, one run game. And the batter now, Freddie Freeman, one for three. The wide to kick the pitch. That misses, ball one. Movement in the Cubs bullpen. Jose Quas getting loose out there. Next pitch is outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Just missed. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Man at first, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. And a foul ball. Freeman aboard here at first with nobody out. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Hammered down the line. And now maybe extra bases. Freeman headed for third. Headed for the plate. He scores. And they lead by two. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Max Muncy at the dish. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Man at second. Just missed. That one misses. Ball three. One on, nobody out. A run in here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And there's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. James Outman now at the plate. 
He's already homered in this game. That's a base hit. Around third. Fires it to the plate, but it's offline. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Righty reliever out of the pen, Yancy Almonte. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 3 with three ground outs. First pitch, not close. No outs, runners at first and second. Next pitch is outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Good hitters count the 2 0. There's a strike. And a big swing and a miss. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Lined, and that's a base hit. Around third. He'll score, and they're up by four. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here comes Chris Taylor. First pitch, and he just misses. First and second here, no outs. Bounce to the left side, and that squirts through. Coming home. One run across. Now two runs score, and it's 9-3. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And up next for Los Angeles, Kike Hernandez. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Runner at second, nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. And that skips in the dirt. The 2 1. Line drive. Puts it away for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Smash to the left side. To first. Two away. Now batting. Shortstop. Mookie. Betts. Here's Mookie Betts. Struck out on just three pitches last time. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. First pitch misses. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. The pitch... 
Hard hit, left field, base hit. Coming around third is Taylor. He'll score easily. It's 10-3. Comes through with the RBI. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. So, man aboard, Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Right through there for a strike. Strike two. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Two outs. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Inning over, although plenty of damage done. So in the end, ten come to the plate. Six of them come around to score. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Dodgers ten and the Cubs three. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Alex Vesia. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. So up now for Chicago, Ian Happ. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. There's a strike. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Evan Phillips looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Hudson getting cranked up as well. Splits the plate. And a count is 0-2. Absolutely frozen on that heater right down the middle. And that's a pitch you're just not getting back. Now he's in a tough spot, especially after falling behind on a good first pitch. He goes down looking. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. One down. Here comes Cody Bellinger. He's already homered here in this one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And now the lefty. Base is empty one away here at the top of the night. Next pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. That one hammered, but pulled foul. And that's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And first offering is fouled off. And a pop up right side foul territory. Freeman makes the grab and there's two gone. So it's their last chance in this one. Now it's the DH, Christopher Morell. That's a strike. 0 and 1. And ball one. Bellinger off of first with two away. That's a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. He was all over that one. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. 
And now Jan Gomes. And it's fouled away. They're down to their final strike. The Cubbies down to their final strike. Bounce to third. And that one finds its way through. Bellinger around third. He scores. It's 10 4. A couple of singles back to back. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. And now the first baseman, Michael Bush. Swing and a ball popped up. Muncie has this one sized up. He'll squeeze it for the final out, and the Dodgers take this one in a blowout. Yeah, pretty tight ball game up until the eighth inning, and that's really the time where you expect things to lock down. But the offense broke out, incredible outburst, and just put this game out of reach. 10 4 is how it ends. Roger Dodger, ground beef control. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long.